everyone, it's Miss Dawn from Crystal Lake Public Library and I'm going to teach you how to make your own rubbing plates and DIY crayon rubbings. To make your rubbing plates, you are going to need a pencil, a hot glue gun, and then some thicker paper or cardboard. I am using an old box that I've cut apart. And then to make your crayon rubbings, you will need some blank paper and crayons. This DIY requires a hot glue gun, so make sure you have a parent or other adult to help you. The first step is to plug in your hot glue gun and let it heat up. While your hot glue gun is heating up, use your pencil to draw a picture for what you want on your rubbing plate. Now we're ready for our glue gun, so have your adult or parent trace around your picture with the hot glue and make sure they keep a steady hand. And trace every line. Now that it's traced, we're going to set it aside to dry. And you can tell it's dry when the glue turns white instead of clear. Make sure you don't touch it. While we're waiting for the hot glue to cool down, uh, we are going to take our crayons and peel the paper off of each of them. So our rubbing plate is all cooled, and now it is time for the crayons. So take a blank piece of paper, cover your plate, and rub. I did a pumpkin, so I'm rubbing with orange and a little green. And there we go. There is our DIY crayon rubbing. You can do any pattern you want. So here I did some wavy lines, and when I used a blue crayon to rub over it, it looks like the ocean. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make DIY crayon rubbings. Now I Hi everyone, it's Miss Dawn from Crystal Lake. Oh my gosh. Now are you going? It's okay. Our rubbing plate is all dry and we are ready for our crayons. So you're gonna take a blank piece of paper and cover your plates and then 